my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings this is going to be for libra sun moon rising and venus before we get into your reading libra i want to wish you guys happy holidays to you and yours wishing you guys all the best let's get into your reading libra spirit guides ancestors and archangels what are the messages for libra sun moon rising and venus what can they expect for this month of december 2021 Allow us to guide Libras on to their journeys towards answers, removing any doubts or any fears. What are the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? How are you doing, Libra? Did you guys start your Christmas shopping? Or are you guys like me and wait till last minute? <laughs> I hope you're not. It's a headache. Anyways, let's get into it. One more shuffle. Thank you, spirits. Here we go. All right, first energy, we have the ruler of cups. Beautiful energy here. This is the king of cups. This is giving into your emotions or taking actions based on your emotions. Finally being able to fully embrace the truth, the truth of how you feel, the truth of what you feel. This is no longer hiding away or no longer protecting yourself. This is giving in giving into your emotions or giving into something that you've been trying to run away from a connection perhaps a situation perhaps not fully being able to speak up or be honest about your feelings in the past that's no longer going to be the issue i see you fully embracing this type of energy libra your next energy here is the hierophant so there is giving into the idea or giving in to the thought of perhaps it's time that at this point in my life we take it to the next step. Whether it's in relationships, whether it's making the decision to fully commit to yourself, your desires, and your hopes. For some of you guys, this could be fully committing yourself to a goal that you want to seek and see the final result. So... What they're saying here for a lot of you guys is there is a major transformation that's happening. There is some type of elevation. There is some type of taking it to the next level. Again, whether it's relationships, whether it's taking a chance on a connection where perhaps in the past you either rejected or you felt because of circumstance and situation you weren't fully being able to embrace it. There was some type of obstacle. I feel like that obstacle is no longer there. I feel like you're finally being honest with yourself, Libra, and you're taking a leap of faith. All right. Those are the general energies for this month. Let's get into your reading. Your first card here is the Five of Cups. So there was some type of disillusion or some type of, um, some type of loss or you felt like you could have lost or missed out on some type of opportunity. The Seeker of Wands is a representation of the page of wands, perhaps communication that came to you, or perhaps you reached out to someone that you were perhaps emotionally invested in, and it wasn't received right, or it wasn't received the way you would have wanted it to come out. For others of you, it could have been an opportunity to connect with someone where you felt like you had to restrict yourself or you had to pull back because of circumstance or situation. And you're seeing this situation as a missed opportunity, Libra. But with the lover's card, you're getting to the point of understanding that a lot of what is unfolding in our life has 90% having to do with the decisions we take. And this is you taking either full advantage of this or taking this notion, this understanding, this being able to see more clearly and it's almost like being at crossroads. Do I make a right? Do I make a left? Do I reach out to this person that I'm interested in? Or do I keep holding back because I feel like I fear commitment or I feel like I'm not ready for some type of commitment? But if I don't take that leap of faith, then I, I'm going to end up feeling like I missed out on a great opportunity. The lovers is the symbolization of taking a course of action based on being pushed by the universe, being cornered in a way, because they're wanting you to elevate yourself, Libra. They're wanting you to own 
the decisions you make. And there is nothing much more powerful than making a decision and owning it and no longer giving a shit about the past or what is to unfold because you're very certain and you're very concise and you are just certain that this is what I want and this is what it's going to be. So the lover's card is you choosing yourself and giving yourself the opportunity to be happy regardless of who it may affect, meaning people outside of you. Um, whether it's people, friends, relatives, people that may not be okay with this connection. Um, for others of you, it could be that that person feels like you kind of rejected them. And they've chosen to take the high road, perhaps even making it seem like they've moved on, perhaps making it seem like they're dealing with someone else. Uh, but the truth is there is a connection here. Your next card here is the Ten of Coins. Major financial stability, but it also indicates stability. Whether we're going towards the stability on the emotional side or whether we're wanting to manifest financial stability, you're being inspired and you're being pushed, Libra, to go towards your goals and your aspirations, to no longer making decisions or choices because of situations, circumstances, or people, but to putting or learning to put yourself first and choosing to make decisions based on what's going to make you happy. Your next card here is the Seeker of Coins. So this is, again, that of the wanting. I see a lot of you guys, like you may be dealing with a person or um, were dealing with a person that perhaps you've seen them as a father figure or mother figure, this is the person that you know or you want or has the potential to become wifey or husband material. But there was something that kind of pushed you towards the other way. But I feel that there is a revisiting of this situation in the month of December where you're going to have a very clear and concise indication that you should go for it. Because the seeker of coins is that of the page of pentacles with the ten of coins it's been long in the making to be able to solidify or to be able to find that stability whether it's in career or whether it's in relationships and you had that opportunity you could have missed it at some point but they're giving you another opportunity to reconnect and to go for what you want libra so stop sitting on your ass and make it happen Finally, temperance. Temperance is a representation of timing. Timing is something that was very important. Perhaps there was a lot of growth that needed to happen within you. Perhaps there was growth or perhaps there was ending cycles that the other person of your interest was currently going through. But you guys are finally coming to this culmination of the realization that there was a reason and a purpose why your paths met. So again, we talk about making the decision and owning the decision of going towards your happiness. Anything that makes you happy at the end of the day is what's right for you. Because even if it's a mistake or a lesson to be learned, at that point in time, it made you happy. So go for it, Libra. Stop doubting yourself. Stop making decisions based off of everybody else. At the end of the day, it comes down to you, Libra. What are you going to do about it? Go for it. I want to wish you guys all the very best. Wish you guys happy holidays and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.